Hey everybody, welcome to another video on using the Web Graphics Creator by Laughing Bird Software. Today I'm going to show you a quick idea I had this morning, um, and I wanted to make a video on it, on how to make a, a sticker. And what I mean by that is, well let me show you. So we're going to go into the Web Graphics Creator, and it doesn't matter what template set we pick, because we're going to uh, choose a blank, t uh, a blank canvas. Cool. The, pop, uh, the templates pop up, but we're going to go to the file menu and we're going to choose a new design. Okay, it's going to be a square blank canvas. We're going to come over here to the format canvas and make this just a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing here. And we're going to make a square out of it. And we're going to set the canvas color to uh, like, a, like an orange, yeah, orange yellow. Perfect. Okay, then we're going to come up here and we're going to create a quick sticker, a sticker slogan. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to come up here to edit and add new text and I'm going to say something like um, and actually I want it in capitals. I forgot. I'm on it bro. <laughs> okay and I don't want this font so I'm going to come up here to the text format and I'm going to choose I want a, a really thick font for this. So I'm going to come over here to the Google preview and uh, the preview fonts and Google has recently changed their interface, so if you've been using this, um, you'll notice it's <laughs> a little different. Uh, so I'm going to come over here to font, font Properties, and I'm going to check the Thickness button. And I'm going to make it as thick as I, as I want, as I can. Okay, and I'm going to scroll through the fonts. Um, actually, I saw this Modak. Okay, this looks, this looks pretty good. So I'm going to remember the word Modak. I can close this window, come over here to Google Fonts, and start typing in the word Modak. M-O-D. Oh, there it is. It pops up here. I click on it. Now, sometimes you have to click twice on the font in order to uh, have it stick. So there we go. There's my Modak font. Cool. And I want to center the words, and I want to bring the... Uh, the character spacing in a tad, and I want to make the line spacing as close as I can. And I also want to create the outline on the text really thick. So come over here to outline, and I'm going to make it really thick, and I'm going to make the font, oops, the font really big by clicking and dragging on the sliders and the grab handle things here. And I also want to set the color to I don't know, like, uh, oh, there you go. Oh, like that. <laughs> Good color. Okay. And then I'm going to slant it a little bit. Cool. So I have my sticker text. Now I'm going to come over here to the elements. Let's try this. And we're going to find a tune element, maybe, a cartoon character. So we're going to scroll down and find the perfect character. Ah, this guy's cool. Perfect. So I'm going to click on the canvas. I'm going to bring this guy over. And I'm going to make him a little bit bigger. Now, characters and images in general uh, don't have uh, thick outlines on them. So we can uh, fake it a couple of ways. Let's get rid of that. And by faking it, I'm going to click on him and I'm going to uh, duplicate the character. Move him aside. Now this character, I'm going to come over here to image color and I'm going to colorize him so that he's 100% black like that. Then I'm going to increase his size just a little bit. Let's see if I've made an outline on him. Uh, close enough. Good. Okay, good. Now I'm going to send him to the back. And I'm going to send this one to the back. But he's too far, so I'm going to send this one to the back one more time. There we go, put that guy here, and now kind of position everything a little bit. Awesome. And now if we want to set the color of the text now that I'm looking at it, to let's say his shirt color, so I'm going to click on the text, come over to text color, click on the eyedropper tool, and let's pick out a color like that, or the, or the orange on that, no, I like the yellow. Now because we happen to make the background the same color. Okay, for now that's cool because we're going to come up here to file, and we're going to download this guy as a PNG, but we're going to make him transparent, okay? We'll call this guy, I'm on it, bro. We're going to download it. 
Okay, cool. Now when you download it, you can bring it onto your website as a sticker and make it smaller, you know, however you want to place it. Let me show you how to save this as a template so that you can use it, uh, use it again. So we're going to come over here to File, and we're going to Save As, and we're going to call this um, Sticker 1 Template. You can call it whatever you want, of course. And we're going to set a template set called Stickers, and we'll hit Save. And when you hit Save, you're going to notice that when you select your designs again, your sticker uh, topic is going to be up here, where all of your other uh, libraries are, your templates are. But when we click on him, he's all set and ready to be modified. So we can just click on this text, OK, and modify all this. And we can change the character if we want to. OK, now this guy uh, just happens to be built with a white outline. So let's take this, close that. Let's take the text here, and we'll make this outline make it white. Cool, and we'll save him as a PNG transparent image. I mean, we'll download him first, we have him. And then we're going to also save as, and we're going to make sure we go to our stickers category that we just saved, and hit save, and come back to select the design, and now we have two of them. Cool. So we can make, you know, 10, 15, 20, 200, and you can use them for all kinds of things. So let's pick on, let's pick, select one of these guys. And let's delete everything. And I'm going to import the graphic. Uh, let's see here. I'm on a bro. And we can shrink him. And this time, though, we're going to put him around, about here. And we're going to shrink the canvas to fit whatever size we want. And we're going to make him transparent, uh, a little bit transparent, by hitting the image format and making him a transparent image. And now when you're on your web page, you can import this guy. And you can import this guy onto your uh, YouTube videos, or, I mean your videos on, in your editing software. But when you import them, let me just show you this real quick. Notice that he's uh, transparent now. So there you go. And you can put him in the corner of a video or on your web page as a watermark, or use him as a watermark in your other images, or whatever you want to do. So cool. Great. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, uh, leave a comment below and tell me what you thought. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.